Namaste, everybody. I'm going to share the screen for the um, this one. Yes. Okay. Om Pranaya Namo. Om Pranaya Namo. Yasya Sarva Midam Vashe. Yasya Sarva Midam Vashe. Yo Bhuta Sarva Sheshwaro. Yo Bhuta Sarva Sheshwaro. Yasmin Sarvam Pratishtitam. Yasmin Sarvam Pratishtitam. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Bhagini, in that Yasmin Sarvam, the mm -hmm. Takara comes from what? kind of uh, sandhi sandhi not... yeah the name of the sandhi i don't recall i can i, I have seen that. sakaragama sudagama but i have not seen a takaragama it is very interesting uh, this uh, yeah it is it is tut agam oh agam. it is called tut agam oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. interesting yeah i'll tell you i'll Great. find out and let you know no, no, no. I will also look up. I was just curious because uh, today I noticed, uh, oh, how is the Takara entering into the equation? Yeah. yeah, and even the conditions I'm not, I don't remember very well, but uh, the Nakara followed by the Sakara, you uh, put in a Takara. Uh -huh. It makes the pronunciation possible, no doubt at all. Yes, yeah. yes means Sarvam. Without the Takara, Nansa will not go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's do a quick uh, recap. Uh, first, uh, any questions are there? Is this very tough, this uh, thing, a uh, parallel, uh, this metaphor going along or it's okay? No, it's okay. I think I had a very stupid question, which is like uh, in the last uh, thing, no, uh, we are saying that the uh, people who follow the Southern uh, path or, you know, Hmm. They are also called the Prajapati. And when we started the Upanishad, we started with the Prajapati, you know, as a creator and all. Hmm. Now, the parallel seems to be like uh, slightly overwhelming. And um, is it, I mean, are you talking about creating your own world or what? I mean, so that is where I'm confused. Maybe by the end, the uh, answer to the question will be either apparent or... Uh, firstly, uh, those people are not being called Prajapati. They are being called uh, Rishis. So, okay. uh, so uh, this one over here, Samvatsar over here, Prajapati. So, Samvatsar, the year is being called uh, Prajapati. Okay. 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 But uh, still, uh, your uh, question is valid because uh, the, uh, the meanings are going to go on changing. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, don't be stuck on a particular meaning. The meaning is going to go on changing. Yeah, but like, you know, it says uh, the same, uh, that ninth uh, verse, it's saying Praja Kama Rishaya. Huh? So, matlab, okay, they're called Rishis who are looking, okay, I mean, who are have to think about it, actually. Who are designers for... of having uh, progenies. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, the Prajapati was also desirous of having um, uh, yeah, that, so, from that point of view, yeah. Yeah, so that is why, because uh, we are looking at uh, the quality of uh, the person uh, defining mm -hmm. the word, that is why the word, um, while the word is being used for so many other uh, things, the quality which is uh, which it defines, that is applicable to all those entities. Okay. That is why we have to look at the yogic meaning and not at the logic meaning that one word just means one thing and uh, particularly in a given context. That is why this Upanishad is a little bit difficult and uh, the commentaries are also uh, not being able to keep up. So uh, it is uh, it is true that the <laughs> metaphor here is going on, <laughs> changing. That is true. 
No, yeah, but there yeah. is actually a wonderful hint at the reality of the Ruthu system also there. In that, actually, in the Dakshina Yana, there is this bountifulness uh, that is present in nature, right? Because we have the spring followed by all the rainy season, etc., which we are right now undergoing. So it is natural, but that you know that prajakama aspect is much better fulfilled in this uh, half of the year. That is in Uttarayan, uh, Anuj. Uh, Dakshinayan is from summer solstice to winter solstice. So that means you are right now in Dakshinayan uh, from uh, June 21st till December 21st uh, is Dakshinayan. Yeah, and but do we do have bountiful months at least here in India in these uh, rainy seasons that come in this part. Yeah, sure, sure. That is also there. That You're right. The spring starts in the end of uh, Uttarayan, correct? Uttarayan, yes, yes. Okay, so let us do a recap if no more questions are there. Saisha Vashwanaro, Vishwarupaha Prano Agne Rudayate, Tadeta Rachabhyam Richab Yuktam. Anyone wants to take it up? Yeah, I can take this up. Hmm. So the sun uh, uh, we are referring to the sun in this one, and uh, the sun which is Vaishnavaraha or uh, which is uh, there, which is found in all beings and it exists in them as the prana, right? And then the, these are the adjectives that we are using here and Vishwarupa. So mm -hmm. we are able to view the beings because of the light from the sun. Right. Without sun, we would not be able to see them. Yeah. And of course, it gives prana, which is which I linked with the Vaishnavara, which gives the breath to the or the life breath to the people. Mm. And Agni here means the energy. So it also provides them with energy. So the sun, which has these qualities, the uh, Vaishvanarava, the Vishwarupa, Prana, it rises. Right. And then it goes on to say that this is explained in the next richer, which uh, is some, uh, you know, basically it's, uh, as you had mentioned, it's a Vedic month from Rig Ved, but in this context, it refers to some uh, uh, contemporary text of people others time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So that becomes the Adi Devik um, Arth. Anybody wants to take up the Adhyatmic Arth? Sorry, only three of you are there today. <laughs> yeah, so we can <laughs> pass the baton to one. Yeah, Anuji, you want to take up the Adhyatmika? Oh, okay. So here, basically, the interpretation of the quality words is uh, slightly taken um, in a different sense. Mm -hmm. So Vaishwanara means one uh, that man that is manifest in all the uh, li beings, living beings, uh, is one way that is taken, and and. Uh, the Vishwarupa instead of as the one who shows the world, uh, as Bhagini explained, this is about the one that is uh, present in the form of all the entities, uh, basically as the prana shakti in all the beings. That that sense is taken. That and is the uh, soul. Ha, soul, soul, mm. atma. Mm. Yeah, and and uh, then. Um, uh, Agni as the one um, that is uh, uh, illuminating the body. Basically, the connection with the Atma and the Sharira, that connection is being brought in this interpretation for the Vaishwana, Ravishwarupa, Prana and Agni. Uh, in and a rough sense, prana, the variation. Prana is clear. Uh, why it is uh, Prana? Um, Basically, the prana in us is in turn being uh, uh, prachodit by the prana that is uh, sun. Yeah. So we are trying to bring that connection between him as if he is the visible manifest of the uh, Brahman uh, in us. Brahman. Okay, that is now you have brought in something else. But uh, Paramat Paramatma. I am taking Paramatma for for Vaishwanara. That that sense. Uh, no, this is for the soul only. Okay, because um, see, we will, uh, as you are seeing in Samvatsara Vaya Prajapati, we are talking of uh, Chandramasam, uh, Chandramasam Eva Lokam Abhijayante. So that is not applicable for God. 
okay god does not conquer anything because everything is his only okay so uh, it, it, what we are talking about is prana and rai prana is the soul and rai is uh, matter hmm so vaishwa naraha is uh, that which is found in all beings vishwarupa which takes uh, over the form of all the bodies it occupies prana which is the nimitta karan of uh, everything and uh, of life and uh, agni is uh, has two meanings uh, agre uh, agachati iti agni to uh, it is that which comes first so uh, what precedes everything uh, in life life you have life only when the soul has entered so therefore it is called agni and also because it illumines uh, the body that means uh, oh, okay means so the way way you explain is that instead of taking the link to surya now we are taking the link directly to the atma in the terms of the surya explanation given earlier yes. applying all the epitaphs to the atman correct okay. correct 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 so this is okay. a metaphor okay. which is going uh, all these uh, things which are applicable to surya those are um actually applicable to the soul uh you are trying to explain the soul through the sun which is known to everybody which you understand uh, clearly there is no doubt about uh, the properties of the sun but you have a doubt about the properties of the soul so the soul is be explained through this metaphor that is typically the use of a metaphor where uh, the metaphor itself is very clear but the uh, thing it is um uh not telling is the thing which is actually not clear okay yeah. okay i i i i somewhere got confused that earlier uh, the explanations are related to the sun uh, as himself and then the second one is a link of the sun to the atma no no such thing first no. it is sun as applies to the universe of living beings and next is atma as applies to rai or sharira okay yeah yeah correct so then uh, the next verse is using a very similar adjective so uh, vishwarupam we have seen harinam jo harne wala hai which takes away from you yeah so if right? you get the sun uh, first uh, yeah. let's uh, give the sun meaning so, so the uh, from in case of the sun the sun uh, evaporates the water it takes away the water yeah and when we take it to the soul then you know the soul uh, attracts the prana into the body when we take birth and it takes the prana away when we die so that is how the haran works there correct correct so haran has actually two meaning one of attraction and one of taking away so those both are uh, applicable uh, even for attraction actually you can uh, apply it to the sun in the sense that it attracts the earth and the earth moves around the sun the uh, only based on the akarshan which the sun provides then uh, jat vedasam Uma, you want to take it up? Uh, you are muted, Bagini. Okay, I think Uma is uh, behind times. All right, no problem. Anuj, you want to take it up? <laughs> I am hardly there, but uh, okay. so uh, jataveda for the adi daivika sense is uh, the uh, presence of uh, um, uh, that uh, surya like prana in every living thing so it is like for the whole whole uh, being sorry whole being and and in in the adhyatmik it switches around to the um, body of the life something like that Okay, I think uh, only my sister seems to be up to date. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, I missed the session, so I just caught up with the video. So I'm, it's fresh in my mind. It means uh, basically that which is found in everything that is born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. So this is applicable for both uh, sun as uh, the life giver and as the soul as uh, this present. Then parayanam is uh, let me greatest uh, surprise. Uh, yeah which is the so can i can i ask a question here yeah so does on this up to eight verses does it talk about the sequence in which it in the universe is evolved for example first came the sky and then came the matter and then came the sun then came the you know does it also imply the sequence in which it has been formed no no there is no sequence here 
so uh, matter and uh, soul as you know they are uh, eternal so the matter itself is eternal the soul itself is eternal and uh, we are not discussing uh, also the the way in which uh, the uh, matter has evolved into all the various uh, material objects so that is also not being not uh, been discussed in this yeah yeah so uh, do not uh, read it as nasatiya smukt this is not the nasatiya smukt you must understand it that uh, th this is trying to explain um what the universe as it exists today what are the entities what is their uh, nature what is their relationship with each other uh, why are they here uh, um, and what is their goal got it because it makes sense because already they, the human form has already they, they were only asking questions so correct 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 exactly okay thank you no problem then uh, so parayana parayanam is uh, the it is sarvadhar jyotire kam tapantam uh, it is the jyoti which is um, uh, heating up everything sahasra rashmihi it has um, thousands and thousands of rays shatada vartamanah present in many ways uh, pranah we have seen earlier prajanam prajanam pranah it is the pran of the praja udayati esha surya okay and uh, the same way it is applicable for the soul as we saw in the previous one uh, nothing so will... there is no significance to the sahasra and shata quotes other than just to say innumerable, innumerable that kind of thing is it no no actually this uh, sahasra and uh, shata any number for uh, that matter is uh, very often used in uh, spiritual texts uh, as without any um, uh this thing without getting stuck to 1000 or 100 it means many many of course you have to okay. go by the context but uh, typically it means many so sahasra rashmi as you know it is not a thousand rate uh, sun it has uh, many many rays so uh, when you say sahasra it doesn't mean uh, it just has 1000 rays even that shatada vartamana is uh, obviously there are so many beings which are there uh, it is present in all of them they are not a uh, hundred so there also it will fail if we take the meaning as just hundred okay now let us come to the uh, one which has meaning particularly in today's class संवत्सरो संवत्सरो वे प्रजापति सो प्रजापति इज दिस इयर सो प्रजापति इयर डज नॉट मीन गॉड इट मीन्स द प्रोटेक्टर ऑफ बींग्स सो दिस टाइम डिलियनेशन इज इट सेल्फ अ वे इन विच बींग्स आर नर्चर ऑन दिस प्लैनेट अर्थ इफ वी डिड नॉट हैव दिस डिविजन इन टू इयर्स एंड Uh, various seasons and various uh, months and day and night even then uh, life would be very difficult uh, you know it's like uh, if you had a planet just like moon is always facing uh, earth so similarly if the earth always faces the sun you would not probably have life here so uh, this whole uh, movement of time the divisions of time are very important for being so that is why it is uh, the year itself is being called the protector of beings tasya ayane dakshanam dakshinam cha uttaram cha so it has uh, two phases to its uh, revolution the one and the or in the sky the sadali when it moves to in the sadali direction that is from the summer solstices to the winter solstices solstices and uttaram when it moves from summer to winter solstices तद ये हवै तदिष्ट पूते कृतम इत्युपासते ते चांद्रमा समे एव लोकम अभिजयन्ते दोस हु बिलीव दैट इफ दे डू इष्ट एंड आपूर्त कर्मस दैट्स इट दैट इज व्हाट लाइफ इज ऑल अबाउट दे अटेन ओनली हैप्पीनेस इन द इन दिस बर्थ और द नेक्स्ट बर्थ्स हियर आई हैड टोल्ड यू बट व्हिच आई डिड नॉट पुट इन द कमेंट्री बिकॉज़ इट इज माय ओन लर्निंग और Uh, derivation from what all i have studied that actually the moon also provides a kind of in between um, place like a swarg where uh, mm -hmm. those who have done uh, very good deeds uh, will go for a 
period without a body so that they experience only happiness and uh, there is no sorrow which is typically associated with the gross body they are uh, of course attached with their subtle body which does not give pain so uh, they only uh, come back again and again and that is why these uh, good people rishayaha who are desirous of offspring because that is again one of our uh, you know main desires as normal people then uh, they attain only the suddenly suddenly track the lower uh, goal of life esha have where rahi yah pitayam so that uh, so southern track the lower track is called rahi because it is uh, determined by material goals we are running only after material goals during this time and this is also called pitayana because it leads to four fathers and offsprings okay now please uh, chant after me i mean is 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 there any hint here that that is an inferior uh, desire yeah, uh, yeah, nothing yeah, like yeah. that it is just yeah. a, is there no it is it is तस्मा प्रजा काम दक्षिण प्रतिपद्यंते सो दिस फर्स्टली दक्षिण इट से कंसिडर्ड लोअर ट्रैजेक्टरी बिकॉज फॉर द सन एज आई टोल्ड यू द पीरियड ऑफ द डे इज रिड्यूसिंग एंड द सन रेज आर बिकमिंग लेस पावरफुल सो दिस लेस लाइट एंड दैट इज वाई इट इज कंसिडर्ड वर्स दैन द ascending path it is this is now a descending path so similarly this is a there is a, a connotation of not being a better path than the uttarayan which you will find uh, of course more clearly okay but uh, but i guess uh, without pro progeny uh, desire for progeny and such things there is no continuation right so yes yes so uh, this is the normal person's normal goal okay uh, i should say uh, among the average people these are people who are little better off uh, in the sense that they follow dharma so they do ishd also they do yajnas etc and they follow dharma that that is also implied here so uh, we are looking at the better people and this is a good goal there is nothing wrong with this goal but it is an inferior goal okay there is a material nature attached to it okay correct 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 okay so let me share uh, the text so there is someone this of yours Okay, you folks have the text, right? So we, uh, please uh, repeat after me. Yeah. Atharena tapasa brahmacharyena. Atharena tapasa brahmacharyena. Shraddhaya vidyaya. Shraddhaya vidyaya. Atmana manvishya. आतिथ्यमृत श्लोक okay so now we are talking of the uttarayan 
सो इट्स इन अथा उत्तरेण सो नाउ दोज हु फॉलो द उत्तर अट्रैक उत्तर एज एक्चुअली मीन्स लिफ्टेड अप सो दैट विच इज द ट्रैक विच इज अपर दोज फॉलोइंग दिस ट्रैक दे फॉलो तप तप एज वी सॉ इज फिजिकल ऑस्टेरिटीज ब्रह्मचर्य इज मेंटल ऑस्टेरिटीज श्रद्धा श्रद्धा इज बिलीव इन वॉट हेज बीन टॉट टू यू सो यू हैव नॉट एक्सपीरियंसड इट योर सेल्फ डायरेक्टली बट यू हैव बिलीव इन योर टीचर फॉर द टीचिंग्स विच हैव बीन इम्पार्टेड टू यू सो विद दैट श्रद्धा एंड विद विद्या सो नॉलेज ऑन दिस पाथ इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट uh you know we hear that there is this uh, jnana shri shakha and the prema shri shakha so uh, or bhakti shakha so uh, you know there's a whole lot of um, kavis at least in north india who were uh, belonging to the prema shri shakha like uh, uh, surdas and tulsidas and mirabai and so on who only talked of bhakti okay and uh, knowledge is not important in that uh, shakha but this is a way of the lazy people okay there is no such track till you have uh, acquired this knowledge till you have gained whatever is to be gained with your brain you cannot proceed uh, forward on the spiritual uh, path that is very very important that is what all the uh, darshan shastras all the upanishads all the vedas are saying so vidyaya atmanam anvishya so while searching for one soul also atma can refer to brahma so we saw these um, six young men had come looking for uh, brahma so brahma also but the main track uh, main meaning here is that of the soul adityam abhijayante so when they follow all these steps tap brahmacharya shraddha vidya and of course they are searching for their soul through meditation then they attain aditya okay we will go into the deeper meanings uh, next first we will just look at the top level uh, literal meaning etat vay prananam ayatanam this aditya is the आश्रय द सपोर्ट ऑफ प्राण एक अमृतम इट इज दैट विच एक्सपीरियंस इज नो डेथ अभयम इट इज विदाउट फियर एक पारायण दिस इज द परम गति इट इज द मोस्ट डिजायरेबल गोल एक पुनर आवर्तन आवर्तन के फ्रॉम दिस वी डोंट वन people don't come back the souls that achieve this gati do not come back iti eshah nirodhah tad eshah shlokah this is nirodhah stoppage stoppage of what of birth and death this cycle which is going on uh, of rebirth this ends once we achieve this goal of aditya about this is the next uh, verse which is uh, from the vedas okay so this much uh, this one is saying i still have some time so i will proceed with the meaning as applicable for the sun okay that is uh, adi devik meaning atha uttarena when it is going by actually uh, here you can see that the meaning for the sun is now collapsing because it was not really meant to tell you about the sun it was actually meant to tell you about the soul so now in terms of uh, the uh, sun when it is going on it is no, on its northern northerly journey there is no meaning of tapas tap brahmacharya shraddha uh, vidya and atmanam anvishya all these break down because it was always meant to be the soul you were being taught about however when we look here again prana naam ayatana uh, it is the support of the souls this we have gone over again and again then amritam amritam again it uh, uh, breaks down over here 
uh, because the sun also has a life. However, we can take that uh, it is a far longer life than uh, all the beings uh, on the earth, earth itself. So therefore, let us say it is immortal. Then Abhayam. Abhayam again, uh, the, the sun being uh, material, there is no fear and any other emotion in that uh, uh, block of hydrogen helium. So uh, this again uh, breaks down. However, you can again apply it as uh, something which removes fear. You know, uh, we have uh, more fear in the night and less in uh, during the daytime. Uh, when you wake up with light around, uh, all the fears of your night get uh, wiped away. So to that extent, you can uh, apply it to the sun. Uh, parayanam, this is the paramagati. That again does not work for the sun. So basically, this has to be applied for the soul only. This is what I told you that when you reach uh, this particular uh, shloka, you will realize that actually all along, you are talking of only the soul and uh, it just breaks down over here for the, the sun. So now uh, let us look at from the angle of the soul. So tapa brahmacharya shatta vidya atmanam anvishya adityam abhijayante. So this last part I haven't told you. Adityam abhijayante uh, means it achieves the sun. It conquers the sun. So this is again one thing which uh, goes in tandem with uh, the chandramasam dokam which I had told you. Uh, which is that the muktatmas, those who have attained moksha, they actually reside on the sun. Okay, so that is why you will uh, keep finding that uh, Dulok is uh, given so much importance in our text, and we are uh, going on being told that um, it is the sun is so great because actually the souls uh, they are not material, so there is no question of getting burnt or anything over there. So their uh, residence is in a place which is always full of light, is full of extreme light. So knowledge and light are two things which go in uh, parallel and uh, they are very often used uh, as meaning the same thing. So these uh, souls, they reside on the sun. Again, uh, if you don't wish to take it, please, uh, you can just uh, check that thing out of the window. Then what we are saying is that it finds its self. Adityam Abhijayante, uh, while searching for itself, it finds itself. Okay, it attains Aditya, which we saw meant the soul. This Aditya, that is the soul, is Prananam Ayatanam. It is the Prana of the Prana. It is the Nimitta Karan of the Pranas. It is uh, what causes the Prana to flow. Etat Amritam, it is immortal. Please don't have a doubt on this, that uh, the soul goes and uh, unites with uh, Brahm and therefore loses its identity. That is not so. Uh, each soul uh, is immortal in its own right and never loses its identity. Abhayam, it is without fear. Uh, see, why do we have fear? Fear arises from all our material connections. In fact, all emotions arise from our uh, material body. So because we uh, own something and uh, we are scared that it may be, uh, it may go away or uh, we are scared that uh, some harm will come to say our body or um, ourselves or disease, death, old age, all this give fear to us. So all these are arising out of your uh, connection with the uh, material world. As soon as that connection is broken, you yourself cannot be touched you know, Gita has uh, verse after verse saying that uh, you cannot burn it, you cannot cut it, etc., etc. So when you cannot do anything to the soul, then the soul has nothing to fear. So that is why it is abhayam. Etat parayanam. So this gati that the soul achieves of discovering itself, which till now it doesn't know that it exists actually. We only know ourselves as our body and we don't know ourselves as ourselves. So this is the paramagati, etas madna punaravartate. Once we have discovered ourselves, our pure form, then we never take birth again. Itesha nirodha. This is the end of uh, the cycle of uh, birth and death. 
and based on the, uh, this is derived from the um, shlok which follows. Okay, I'll stop it here and take questions in the next session. <laughs>